you're you're gonna be slipping all over the place you want to look expensive out of here you know we want to be living like a baller on a budget drum roll please if you're putting these up these shoes on right right before you're about to kind of go out and meet your man and your man texts you going hey babe where are you you better tell him you're going to be another owl like hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i am so 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 excited to film this video today i'm going to be doing if you can't tell by these big boxes behind me a ego versus public desire Hall slash battle of the brands so i thought this would be a good idea so i have never ever ever tried any of the um she brands before so i thought what i'm gonna do because i want to try ego and i wanted to try public desires so i thought why not make it a little bit more fun and make like a battle of the brands and see and compare them to each other so if you haven't already grab a cup of tea grab some biscuits grab some water i've got my big ass water here because i know i'm going to be talking a lot so yeah i hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get straight on before i try the shoes on and actually show you them i just want to make a few pointers about each brand and how i kind of how delivery was and how i thought about the website the choice of shoes so here i have got all my notes written down and yeah i'm just gonna go through what i kind of thought about each brand i have a lot more ego shoes than i do public design just because um a couple of weeks ago i actually did buy two shoes of ego and then um that's when i thought oh i'm actually gonna buy a few more because i'm gonna do this whole video so i have a little bit more ego shoes than i do public desire both of the shoes i ordered last friday and public desire came first which was yesterday and ego shoes came today so overall it took about five to six days which is pretty good i would like to point out one thing that i really liked about public desire is that my billing address and my delivery address was two different addresses just because obviously now i um live with my boyfriend and his parents and my billing address was obviously my old address of um my family so i really really liked the fact that they actually sent me a email saying hey look we've completed your order but your two um addresses are completely different can you prove that this is you send you send us like a bank statement da, da, da. so i really really respect the fact that they've done that because that just shows they're really efficient with their security so and despite all of that the delivery still came before ego shoes so that's quite an interesting night to take down so me personally i saw a lot more shoes that i liked on the ego official brand public desire did have a lot but i feel like it just wasn't my style so therefore for the most for the kind of different choices i would go for ego shoes definitely and i also found that ego shoes were slightly more cheaper than the public desire one thing i do want to point out they had a deal going on they still might have the deal going on and it says 30 percent off everything however it wasn't everything because it only took 30 percent off the full price items so for me that was a bit misleading and i couldn't see anywhere that it says 30 percent off excluding sales so that was a bit misleading so i only got 30 percent off the full price items and a lot of it was on sale anyway and public desire as well guys also i found had more flat shoes and um, flat shoe options so i'm going to stop talking about all of that basic stuff and we're going to show you the shoes now and i'm going to tell you what i thought about the shoes there's a lot to get through so let's just get on with it okay we're going to start off with ego shoes so the first ego shoe that i've got to show you are these pair of boots so they just look like this they're very nice they're very suave and they're just more of like a camel colour. So when I tried these on, they were really, really comfy. I do find though, unless you own a lot of nudes, um, this probably is going to be quite hard to pair up. Um, and also, it's, yeah, it's just the colour, I thought it was a little bit more nude, but it's more of like a camel colour. But overall, they are really nice. And I also got it in a black version, which I'm going to show you now. So these are the black version and for me I'm definitely going to keep the black version just because I feel like you can pair black with everything. So yeah they were really comfy, I'm really really happy with them. Um, obviously I haven't tried really walking around in them, I only just kind of stood up and tried them on. So whether or not they're going to be comfy when you're walking around we will see. But yeah I really really like these, I feel like you can pair them up with anything, you can make them into a daytime or nighttime vibe. And yeah love them next pair of shoes 
that I have got from Ego. Now, I love these guys. Again, these were so, so comfy. Oh, I just want to point out, actually, the fact some of the shoes were a little bit big. I wish I got a three in pretty much everything. I got some in a three and some in a four just because my feet are quite... They are a size four, but they're quite thin, narrow. I don't have the nicest feet. Um, so some of them didn't really fit as nice as I wanted to do. I wanted it to be, so... Yeah, some are a bit different. But these are just a pair of sandals and I love these guys. Look how pretty they are. They're just so nice and they were so, so comfy on. Oh, I love them. And I feel like they'll be nice again in any kind of outfit. Beautiful. Another thing that I want to point out is pretty much all the shoes do smell like cheap, cheap plastic, which I don't like the smell of plastic, but what can you do? You know, they are kind of obviously more of an affordable brand. Um, and I would like to point out some of the shoes when we get into, it, I'll show you, some of them do look quite cheaply made. These are the next shoes. So they're just kind of strappy kitten heels. Right. Can I just say something about these guys? Again, they're really comfy. I feel like you could last all night in these. But if you're putting these these shoes on, right, right before you're about to kind of go out and meet your man and your man texts you going, hey, babe, where are you? You better tell him you're going to be another hour because these shoes were so hard and took me so long to put on. <laughs> Let me just tell you that, guys. This took me ages to even try and work it out. Um, now I obviously know, like, you put your foot in there and then strap them up, but it just took me ages to work out and it was quite fiddly. But I do really like these shoes, however I do think the strap is quite thin so I do think they're going to be a little bit more on the snappy side. I think it's going to be really easy to break these, I'm not going to lie. But they were really, really comfortable and I feel like you could definitely wear this all night without your feet having any kind of problems. Okay, the next pair of shoes I have I to show you are these ones. Now they are gorgeous, aren't they? These were actually way too big. I didn't get a video um, in these because they were just massive. Like, there was no point. I think if they were a size 3, they would have been nice. These are one of the pair of shoes I think look so cheaply made. Like, look at that, guys. If you pull that, you can probably pull the whole thing off. So, yeah, I just think they just look really, really cheap. Um, they look nice from far away, but obviously... And they smell. They smell so cheap as well. But, yeah, I'm just not impressed with... Sorry about my unpainted nails, guys. But, yeah, I'm just not impressed with these little diamond bits. The next pair of shoes I'm going to show you are possibly my favourite pair of shoes that I got. I wish, again, I got them in the size 3. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to wear these on, a, like, a night out. I think only to, like, a restaurant vibe. Because you best believe they'll be falling off my feet like flip-flops. And I just love the... Oh, I want to... Again, sorry, I keep coming up with points. The... In terms of packaging and shoebox styles, I'm definitely living for Ego. I don't think, I just hate the orange, like, why orange? So this one comes in a little shoe bag, which I really like. And these, like I said, are probably one of my favourite, favourite pair of shoes that I've bought. So they just look like this. And they've got a gold chain that you wrap around your feet. Again, where I said about the whole man situation, if your man's texting you, Again, you might want to tell them you're going to be another hour for these shoes because these took so long to put on. But they are just really, really pretty. So they've got a square fit at the end. And yeah, you just wrap the chain round. And they just look a little bit more expensive. Um, I think the gold against black is really, really a nice contrast. So yeah, I love these shoes. I'm really happy with these ones. The next pair of heels from ego are these ones so as you can see they've got a white platform heel and then it's clear on the front now again i'm really umming and ahhing about this because they do look quite cheap and um, especially the plastic but they are really 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 comfy guys they're so comfy um but it's just the plastic that lets it down when it's on the feet it's not so bad but i do think again you could probably snap this really easy just because it's so thin and it's just it just looks cheap. I just hate things that look cheap. <laughs> Even though they are a cheap brand. But we want to look expensive out of here, you know? We want to be living like a baller on a budget. But yeah, I do not know about these. Again, they're comfy. But it's just the plastic, guys. It's the plastic. 
so that is all from the ego shoes overall i just want to say i really am really impressed with ego shoes i will definitely be buying from there again and i really really like all their shoes well the majority of them the only downside i would probably say is just the smell and some of them looks like cheap i know i've probably said that word about 100 times but yeah some of them just didn't look as nice as i wanted it or it looked on the website but overall like the style and the comfort are 10 10. so now let's go on to public desire i've got uh four pairs of shoes to show you from public desire now as i said i couldn't really see much that i liked from public desire and um, they were slightly more expensive than ego um but overall i think the quality of public desire was a little bit better so i'm going to show you what i got from public desire so the first pair of shoes i'm going to show you are these sandals now again i just love anything that's blingy and sequiny i love it love it love it you can really dress like a boring outfit with stuff like this again these are very similar to the ego sandals um but these are a little bit more again a little bit better quality i feel like everything's a little bit stuck down more um and they were very very comfy the only thing i would say is on the back of it or underneath the shoe there's not much grip so if it to be somewhere that's a little bit more slippery i think you're you're gonna be slipping all over the place but i do really like these i'm gonna be keeping them they're very pretty i like the square toe as well and yeah i'm very impressed with these ones okay guys so the next pair of shoes i'm gonna show you you can probably tell by my facial expression because i'm a very expressionate person i do not like these okay whatsoever these are another pair of boots um and in terms of boots comparing from ego to um public desire i will go with ego official any single day these were so uncomfy they did not look flattering they made me look like i had like pointy feet i know that's the style of the shoe but it literally made my feet look like that so these are the pair of boots so they're a nudie pink color but this bit is just so so long to the point like when i opened it i thought like what size did i get because they're just massive they look massive they fit all right but they look massive so no i'm not a big fan of these i'm not gonna lie these are probably one of those shoes i just really didn't like at all they didn't look flattering whatsoever um, and they were very uncomfortable so i am sending these back okay next pair of shoes i think these are almost like valentino inspired i think they're valentino so they look like this so they've still got the paper in they look like this and they're really really stunning they're really nice again in terms of quality the quality is really good they are quite sturdy again guys in terms of if i could wear these all night most likely not and i did find they have got padding there but it just feels so uncomfortable and i don't know if it's the heel oh there's a little hair i don't know if it's a the heel size or you know the heel problem but no i don't think i could wear these all night but the style of it is beautiful the style looks so nice and i feel like you know they're really pretty maybe if you want to wear them for an hour or so or in a picture then yeah definitely but I don't think I could wear these all night. They just were so uncomfortable. Okay, last pair of shoes. We got there in the end, guys. So the last pair of shoes from Public Desire are these pair of shoes. Now, these were, looked so, so beautiful on. They are just such a pretty colour. The style of it looked really nice and really flattering. Um, I really like the baby pink colour. This plastic, compared to the Eco Shoes plastic, is so much better. It's a lot more thicker quality. The others are just really flimsy. Again, guys, when I tried these on, my feet were killing. And that was for about 30 seconds on. Like, that's not what you want in a shoe, is it, really? You want to be dancing all night, not wanting to take it off in the first five minutes. And it's a shame, because I actually think the quality is a lot nicer than Ego Shoes. I do think they're a little bit more um better quality and i think that's probably why it's a little bit more expensive but just i just don't think <laughs> it's comfy at all i just don't think i could last all night in these not at all but i will give them the benefit of the doubt again probably to a restaurant or something um but just not all night definitely not okay guys so that is the end of me showing you the shoes so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna wear some pros and cons on each brand and then i'm gonna give you my final decision 
So with eGrowth Official, I definitely think the quality was a lot less cheaper and the material was cheaper. Um, they were quite flimsy, but for some reason, even though they were flimsy, they were still more comfortable. Um, but I do think like the plastic, like it did smell. You know when you just smell plastic and it's just like that. Like, it's not nice. I definitely think there's more option for um, shoes in Ego Official. To me, personally, I liked their styles more. But obviously, to you guys or whoever's out there, you might think that Public Desire have more shoes. But I think it's just personal preference. With Public Desire, I do think their quality was a lot better than Ego Official. And again, I think you're going to be paying a little bit more anyway. So I think you're going to be paying for better quality. Um, but the shoes are just so uncomfortable. I don't know what it is. They... I, I, literally within the first 30 seconds i thought there's no way like how is anyone going to last in these shoes all night their flats were really comfortable so the sandals were really comfortable but the shoe the, the heels no way so overall i definitely would say drum roll please <laughs> I definitely much prefer Ego Official. Ego Official has won this battle of the brands and I will be probably more buying my shoes of Ego um, and maybe possibly buying my flats of Public Desire because don't get me wrong, I think the flats were really comfortable but the shoes are just not, not there for me, the high heel shoes. So yeah, Ego Official, you have won me over. Well done, guys. Well done. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That is it. I hope you guys have maybe seen um, some shoes that you like. I will obviously, of course, list everything that I have shown you in the below bar. So you guys can go and check out the link. They have all got really good sales on during lockdown. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what shoes you liked. And if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and comment. Do your thing.